Few franchises have experienced the kind of glow-up that Suicide Squad has. The 2016 film was supposed to factor heavily into the ever-evolving DC Extended Universe. The original plan was an all-out war between the Justice League and Darkseid. Needless to say, those plans faltered a bit, and Suicide Squad is generally seen by many as a misfire in the lead-up to Zack Snyder's grand plan. When looking at the movie's Rotten Tomato scores from both critics and audiences, it's clear many people didn't care for the anti-heroic storyline. The team has had numerous successful plots in the comics, but in this instance, it just didn't translate to the big screen. So that's it. What, we some kind of suicide squad? After the film's release, many wondered what the future of the anti-heroes looked like, and the answer turned out to be, not quite a reboot, not quite a sequel, but we're just kind of forgetting about that first outing. Directed by Guardians of the Galaxy's James Gunn, 2021's The Suicide Squad did a complete 180 in terms of quality. This film is certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, with a consensus being that this is the sort of zany, gory adventure people expect out of something titled Suicide Squad. It's a fantastic viewing experience for comic book fans and casual moviegoers alike. However, now the question arises, what does the future hold for the franchise? After all, if the series can come back from the first film, surely Warner Brothers will want to move full speed ahead on another installment. Warner Brothers has yet to officially announce a follow-up to The Suicide Squad. The studio is likely waiting to see how it performs at the box office and how many people watch it on HBO Max. If everything lines up, a sequel announcement should be imminent, but fans will still have to wait for the time being. It certainly seems as though Warner Brothers is confident the movie will be a hit. An HBO Max original series centered on Peacemaker is already in the works, and there's always a possibility other characters could receive spin-offs in TV series. While everything is still in the dark for the time being, James Gunn seems assured more Suicide Squad is on the way. The filmmaker spoke with Entertainment Weekly in the lead-up to the film's release, mentioning how he's willing to return to the sandbox. Not only that, but he offered this little tidbit, too. I've had ideas, actually. If I did a sequel, it's not like, hey, let's assemble another team and let's do this. It would be very different. Gunn remains silent on what exactly a sequel would look like, but judging from the consistent quality across his Guardians of the Galaxy films, it would definitely defy expectations. There are plenty of stories from Task Force X that could serve as a third Suicide Squad movie. Task Force X has been around in the comics since 1959, though most are familiar with the version that arose in the 1980s. The best part is that the squad maintains a rotating roster of supervillains, so there are other characters to pull from, even if several die in one movie. It would also be pretty cool if future Suicide Squad movies incorporated villains initially introduced in other DC movies. For example, Kristen Wiig's Cheetah from Wonder Woman 1984 could return as a new team member. It's also important to remember what James Gunn said about a potential sequel. If Warner Brothers wanted to go a different route in terms of story, the comics hold plenty of answers. And there's one arc in particular that would make for an intriguing cinematic adaptation. Burning Down the House is a Suicide Squad story written by Rob Williams and illustrated by John Romita Jr. It's a superhero tale combined with a whodunit that focuses on Amanda Waller's death. A lot of characters would have liked to see her bite the dust, and it comes down to some unlikely villains to figure out who was behind the hit. That's just our pitch, and James Gunn's story could be something entirely different. Or someone new could come on board to lead the squad in an alternate direction. Anything's possible, but we have a feeling the Suicide Squad as a franchise won't bite the dust anytime soon. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about DC movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.